Hi guys, in this video tutorial I'm going to show you how you can make a basic basic website in Dreamweaver, CS3, CS4 or anything else you might use. It's going to look pretty professional and it's going to be really basic to do. Uh, I once created a site uh, from scratch and that was quite hard, it took me more time than this and it looked worse. So I recommend that you do this way. The first thing we're going to need is Adobe Dreamweaver CS4. You can get it from adobe.com and uh, this program is phenomenal. I mean it's really great. And uh, with this program you can basically um, edit sites, create sites, all of those things. And um, you can use go live, you can use front page, you can use anything like that. Uh, if you want it, buy it for $399 or you can get the trial but I recommend that you buy it because you want to update your site. Uh, if you have CS3 you can upgrade anything like that but CS3 is perfect it works as well. Um, okay then, uh, the next thing is a link that's going to be in the description and it's going to be freecsstemplates.org here you can get some templates they're pretty professional and um, you can get them from the site of course and we're just going to click CSS templates these are made with Dreamweaver but really professionally made so we're just going to take page 7 I don't know anything random any random page and uh, we're just going to take this one some pages are harder to edit some are okay but this is a pretty okay site I mean not the best looking one but you can get other good ones from this from this site or other sites on the web when you want it or if you want it just download .zip uh, click download .zip uh, you don't need to use this one I just took this one as an example and save file and save it to your desktop or wherever you want now another thing I want to uh, clarify here is um, some sites are harder to edit and I just took a simple one so if you aren't that good yet and you just want to test something out you can do it with this. Um, in this tutorial I'm also going to show you how you can get a free.co.nr domain and put your site on the web. Uh, okay. Now you have your uh link here. So we are just going to right click it and extract here. If you do not have WinRAR, uh, you can just download it. And you can just go ahead and delete this now. Now we have your Coleometry folder and we're just going to open it. And there's another folder here. And here we have our default. What I think that is, yes, it, this is the CSS. The CSS file basically does that you, everything keeps it in place. So if you delete this file, it's go basically going to go away and yeah, go away. Um, I mean your site will be all distorted and you won't really be seeing anything. Uh, it won't be a a clear at all. So in images, we have your images for the different inside the uh, uh, file, and uh, you have to remember that deleting these will do that actually you won't be able to have these images so if you delete this there won't be any images like that in the file okay we are now going to open a dreamweaver and in here first of all we're going to make a root folder what the root folder does is basically going to do as it's doing on the web so we are just going to click on site and new site what I mean by on the web is when you host something, it'll be going on. On the first page, there has to be index.html or something like that. So you'll have to um, create a site like that or a folder like that on Dreamweaver. That's why it's so great, one of the reasons. And we're just going to call this uh, uh, root folder called video tutorial file. No folder for a website, and you can edit. You can add the URL if you want. It won't be really change anything, I think. But yeah, now just click next, and 
it does really matter what you do here uh, just click none where you come to how to connect your remote server um, and here as well in editing files I think how do you uh, how do you want to work with your files during development uh, there will be edit lo local copies on machine then upload to server when ready and here we can click this little map and or folder and we're just going to search for the folder we want to make our root folder so we're just going to go on desktop calliometry calliometry and select so now we're inside the file where there's index and all of that so we're just going to click next again and none again and next and it's been created and as you can see we have default and CSS index and the same images from before so we're just going to double click on index here we have calliometry you'll have these lines they'll be a bit weird but it does really matter so what we're going to do is delete this uh, you can have uh, where it says calliometry we're just going to call it ff comp help Whoa. What's that? ff comp help ff and I just put one two h more than I thought I should Something's wrong. Yeah, it was just a little distortion and mistake on my Dreamweaver. So we're just going to delete this. And no, we're just going to select it. Select it. If not, the font will be all small. We're just going to type in your name. And inside, underneath, you can type in your slogan. Uh, I don't really want to use a slogan, so I'm just going to delete this and now we have here home photos about links contact so these are basically our little links that you can add or tabs and our site news or something or this is the home page we're creating called index it has to be called index so this is basically going to be the general stuff uh, we're also going to add a title to begin with and we're just going to call this uh, the tutorial site And done. Now the next thing we're going to do is just select "Welcome to Coloriometry," "Colori," "Colorimetry," I think. And Bridge going to type in uh, "FF Comp Help." FF will do something. So I mean, just a little title for people to be willing to watch your article or whatever, you, whatever you're making. And we're just going to type in any random stuff here and um, you can make different links and all of that and I'm going to show you how you can do that okay what I usually do is I create a site where it has all the links so what I'm going to do first is going to go on file save as and we're just going to call this what's on over here we have photos photos and we're just going to call it photos.html and we will have uh, let's refresh here and we'll have photos so this way we can actually have in another file which it will go to I have a video on how to do it more detailed but I'm basically going to show you how you can do it now select the file uh, where you want to go so we're in your our index file and we want it to go to photos so we're just going to drag this thing over to photos.html and now we're going to click this little globe here to see if it works and preview in Firefox and save the changes now we'll have our site this is basically how it's going to look we've made some a few changes uh, and we're just going to click photos and uh, it changed now it says coleometry now it says ff compo so I just made it change like that cool isn't it um, so this is basically how you may create a little link on your site you can go in a lot of details write uh, a lot of stuff here and here it has a little copyrighted thing so we're going to say uh, copyright 2008 ff comp help ff.co.uk but since we're in 2009 we're actually going to change it to 2009 and it says designed by free CSS templates I would recommend uh, having this still 
because they made the template you should use it or you should at least give them credit so um, 